So we've got something a little bit different this week, especially from my subscribers that like the diving. We haven't had anything on diving recently. So this is for you guys. Off the top of my head, that's, um, that is the Kentucky Woodsman. He likes a bit of scuba. And Bluefin, he's into his scuba too. And also um, MD Outdoors, just to mention a couple. Now, for those of, the, of you that aren't into the diving, well, we do get to play with power tools, particularly dangerous power tools. So, if you like the sound of that, stay tuned. Now, some of you may have heard of something called a thermic lance. And what we're going to do is cut steel. We're going to cut some steel underwater. We're going to cut a pile down, actually, a bit of underwater tree felling, using a thermic lance. Um, and it, there's a brand name, it's called a Broco. Broco is the manufacturer. And it consists of one of these, which is a, a pistol with a valve, a hand-operated valve for the oxygen, and a simple chuck in the front. See that? And that chuck accepts this guy here, like right. goes in there winds up tight makes a gas tight seal there's also electric current um, plumbed to the to the gun too so it's it's made live and uh, you strike an arc on the piece to light the rod actually I'll explain a bit more about that so I thought I'd explain a bit about what you're about to see for those that aren't familiar uh, before we got into it because it's, it's, it's quite interesting. So this is a Broco rod, it's a handheld thermic lance and it is the destroyer of worlds. Oxygen is blown down the center of that hole there. It's a steel tube, probably a mild steel tube filled with carbon steel rods and it's struck on the workpiece until the rods start to burn in the oxygen and then you touch it to the steel and the steel that you're cutting becomes the fuel as well so the rod is burnt down but it also takes the steel out with it um, extremely there's nothing it won't cut really you could cut armor plating with it you could cut your tractor engine in half um, it is a very formidable thing. It's not necessarily necessarily um, very clean like a surface gas torch would be. It's a bit rougher than that, but there are people, I'm certainly not an expert, I don't profess to be, but there are some people that are very good at it and they can cut nice neat rings off of piles and things like that. Um, the end burns at about 10,000 degrees, so that's quite enough to light the end of Trailblazer Tim's Black and Mild, I would think, or Carolina Chris's pipe. If you continue to squeeze the lever and the oxygen passes through, this rod will continue to burn, taking the steel with it, all the way down, and if you don't let go of the lever, it will burn the collet in the torch, and then consume the torch, and then your hand, and eventually the entire world. So it's a better, it's a good idea to let go of the oxygen lever before it gets. Don't smoke them right down to the stub. Don't smoke them right down to the butt. It's not a good idea. Um, and that's it. And it'll even cut concrete. Uh, it's not oxidising the con concrete. It's um, it will it'll burn through. It'll essentially literally melt through it. It's not oxidising. It's not really cutting. But anyway, so if that sounds interesting, here we go. Um, and you can wear this one. This is a yellow one. We wear a helmet for this work because, for a couple of good reasons, these incorporate a hard hat underwater. So it protects your head. It's got good communications, plenty of air, nice to work in. And also, if you go unconscious, your, your face, your, your face, nose and mouth is 
still surrounded by gas so you don't instantly drown because there is a risk of electric shock. Um, but that doesn't worry you, does it? You can wear this one. So put this on. Okay, we're good. You ready? Let's go and get suited and booted. Oh, you're going to need a set of these too. Come on then, let's go. Do you guys want to have a look at the cut? Yeah, here's my handiwork.
well, I hope you enjoyed that. Something very different this week. Um, obviously, th th those are training conditions there. Um, it was a, just a small job there. There wasn't a lot of pressure on, so I could kind of take you along, shoot some video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. You never know what's coming next, you know. You never really know. Not on this channel. Scout out.